As more testing for the virus becomes available, it becomes more clear. Not all tests are the same. They do different things in different ways. So NBC6 investigator Tony Pipitone went to the experts to see how the tests stack up. Whether you get your finger pricked, spit into a test tube, or have a swab stuck into the back of your nasal cavity, you're hoping to find out one thing. Do you have the coronavirus? But not all tests provide the same answer. Consider what the big three actually detect. One is the RNA of the virus, two is the protein of the virus, and three is the host reaction, our own body's reaction to the virus. One, often the swab in the nose, looks for the virus itself and is the most reliable, though not perfect. It can miss the virus, giving what's called a false negative. But done right, the molecular diagnostic or PCR test is the best. Next best, the antigen test, which can detect evidence of the virus in such things as saliva. A spit test looks for the protein of the virus. That's the antigen test. Never. Governor DeSantis today noted one problem with that test. It, it, the, the test can't necessarily tell you whether you have a live infection. It can tell you whether there's virus detected, but I think as CDC has pointed out, it can detect dead virus uh, that's not live for, for many, many weeks after that. So you can get a false positive from dead virus, thinking you're contagious when you may not be. That's a problem with antigen tests, not to be confused with the third kind of test, the antibody test, usually done with a finger prick. Which looks for a reaction by the host to having had the virus in their body. The CDC says antibody tests should not be the only test relied on. It can mistake another coronavirus, like the common cold, with the novel coronavirus, producing a false positive. Look, if, you, if you're not symptomatic and you just kind of like, hey, I, maybe I want to see if I have it, um, you're probably better off doing the antibody because that'll tell you if you've ever had it. Government scientists agree with that, but differ with the governor on something else he said today. I think if you have the antibodies, you know, you do know that that confers a certain level of protection, and uh, that's a great thing to know. In fact, the National Institutes of Health recommends against using antibody tests for that, saying it is currently unknown whether the presence of antibody confers protective immunity against future infection. Bottom line, testing is not perfect, but is good, and it's getting better as we all learn more about this virus. Tony Pipitone, NBC6 News.